Hello my beautiful Pisces, my name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com and I'm here to bring you your monthly forecast for will your ex return for November 2019. So guys, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if this doesn't resonate with you or you'd like me to draw upon your own personal energies, you can always get a personal read with me by going to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or checking out the description box below. All right. Um, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how did your ex feel about you? Are they really feeling you? Do they love you? Um, you know, uh, what is the blockages? What is keeping you guys apart? Okay. How does your ex feel about having a reconciliation? Will there actually be a reconciliation? And what is spirit's advice? What is it the advice for you in order to help you with this situation? Okay. Using the romance angels. Okay. So how does Pisces X love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about the most, how does Pisces X love interest feel about them romantically? How does Pisces X love interest feel about them romantically? How does Pisces X love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, that feels good. Hmm, the full card. Okay, so they feel like they want, okay, they feel like they either want to take a, a leap of faith to you, or they feel like there's a risk here, or they feel like they want to take a leap of faith to something new, okay, or they want a fresh start. Why is that? Because of there's heartache here. There's longing here. They feel that there's longing, there's heartache, and obviously in this card we see there's, there's an anchor. There's an anchor surrounding something to do with loyalty because I see the dog in here. And there is something that needs to be communicated because I see a bird in here. Okay, so you can see this person in this card is longing. Okay, there could be a lot of longing, a lot of heartache here with this person. There could be something to do with a third party situation pertaining to this person because of the fact that the full card is there. Okay, Queen of Cups energy. It's showing me that there is a lot of contemplation around their emotions, okay? Obviously, this is your energy, okay? Pisces, this is your energy, so they are thinking about you. And um, they are contemplating, do I want to give my cup of love? Do I not want to give my cup of love, okay? So that's what they're feeling. They're like feeling, do I want to give my cup of love? Do I not want to give my cup of love? They do feel that you're a nurturing person with the Queen of Cups energy that... Um, you know, they, they, they want to communicate possibly or they want to get some advice or they're trying to be patient here because of the fact that there is love. And there is a there is a longing here with this Three of Swords energy of taking a leap of faith towards you or they want to, um, they feel that it's a risk because of heartache and the fact that there's a contemplation possibly maybe they feel like you're contemplating this because this is obviously your energy. Do I want to give my cup of love? Do I not want to give my cup of love? Okay, so we have a fire sign person, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy going on here. They want to make a, they feel like they want to make a wise choice when it comes to passions. Okay, and it's interesting because this king and this queen are facing each other. Okay, the queen, uh, the king of, of all wands is a natural born leader that takes control of the, the situation. It's a very creative kind of energy. It's very passionate, very, uh, very energy. It's also very stable energy. The queen and the king energy is a very good energy to come out because it shows that this person does want stability, wants stableness here pertaining to the feelings with you. And they want to make a wise choice when it comes to passion. Hmm. Ace of Cups. They do have love for you. Ace of Cups is like one of the best cards for romance and love. So Ace of Cups, this person does see you as true love. And they see this as an opportunity for true love here. Okay. Uh, obviously, they're having heartache. So in this scenario, I would see this full card more as a risk card because of the fact that I see that there is love here with the Ace of Cups energy. They just want to make wise choices when it comes to passion. There's a lot of contemplation going on here because of longing and heartache. So they are aching for you. They are longing for you. They they are hurt here with the Three of Swords energy. Okay. So now let's see what's going on with the blockages. What's going on with the blockages between Pisces and Pisces X love interest? What's going on with the blockages? Between Pisces and Pisces ex love interest, what's keeping these two from being together? What's keeping these two from being together in the month of November? Show me the cards I need to see. 
Show me the cards I need to save. All right, that feels good. Okay, so what's keeping what's keeping you guys apart? It's mental energy of someone feeling that their hands are tied. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but someone's like, my hands are tied, I can't do anything about it. Even though this is just a mental card, it's like whatever's going on in the scenario, this person or you feels like their hands are tied in the situation, but you're not, okay? And also eight of, um, the eights are about effort. So it's like someone feels like their hands are tied because they don't, they don't know if they wanna put the effort into it. And then we get the full card again. Now, obviously this can be something surrounding a risk or taking a leap of faith to something new with the full card, okay? So if we see that the, the, the hands are tied because of some kind of risk or something to do with something new here, that could be uh, an issue. And also when the feelings, we go back to the feelings, maybe you have someone new or they maybe they feel that you have someone new and this is making them feel like, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so heartbroken, okay? And that could also be why they, they could feel like their hands are tied here. Um, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Of course, this could be a younger, um, you know, earth sign person that could be blocking things out or it could be just because of messages, maybe because something hasn't been discussed. Pages are about messages. So that could be either there is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn pertaining to something new here, some kind of potential for pertaining to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy or an earth sign person. And or it's something to do with uh, talking about long term things here. OK, and wow, there is there is a lot of burden here. There is a lot of responsibility and there is a lot on this person's mind. You were the other person. Someone's having a lot of hurt on their mind um, because the whip is arguments. OK, and uh, it's something repetitive and it's hurt. It's pain. And the Ten of Wands is about burdens. It's about responsibilities. So it's like there's a lot of burden, a lot of responsibility, a lot of pain on this person's mind that's blocking things out. And why is that? Because of long-term commitments or family or loyalty to family here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay, so family could be an issue here pertaining to you and this person of why there could be a blockage here and that could be hurting things and that could be infringing upon messages here with a page of pentacles and someone taking risk and feeling like their hands are tied in the situation and there's a lot of tens which tells me that things uh uh some something to do with completion here needs to happen something isn't completed here with you and your ex because of these tens and it's a lot to do with effort or putting the work into this with the eight here Okay, so how does your ex-love interest, Pisces, feel about having a reconciliation with you in the month of November? How does Pisces' ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about the most, how does Pisces' ex-love interest feel about having a reconciliation with, our, with Pisces for the month of November? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so here we got that message card again, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Something to do with a potential for a long-term commitment, a message of something to do with long-term commitment, positive card. So they potentially do wanna send some messages. Um, and there also could be something that's an argument here or something that they won't cut out with the Knight of Swords energy, because um, the Knight of Swords is cutting something out, okay? It's quick energy, it's also argumentative kind of energy. Six of Pentacles, they want something cut out because of they want an equal give and take. Six of Pentacles energy, whether that's an equal give and take in time or an equal give and take to maybe if there's another person here. And we got the Hierophant card. Well, we did see family could be potential blockage here. Traditional values, family, could be someone could already be in a relationship too, could already be married because of the family card. Um, this is representing family, excuse me, marriage, long-term commitment. It's also representing traditional values and something spiritual here. And why is that? Because it's something to do with an equal give and take. And what is that about? So cutting something out and giving a message. They wanna give a message here. 
and that they want mental clarity surrounding this 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 issue of this traditional values long-term commitment marriage okay so they want to gain some kind of mental clarity or they want to be victorious over this over this situation here pertaining to this equal give and take. Sixes tells me though the central issue is that they do want some kind of healing and some kind of change because the Hierophant card is a five and they are trying to figure things out or take the initiative here with that one. Okay, so let's see if you're gonna, you're gonna have a reconciliation between you and your ex. Will Pisces have a reconciliation? Will Pisces have a reconciliation with your ex love interest? The one they're here for, the one they wanna know about the most. Will Pisces have a reconciliation? Will they get back together in the month of November 2019? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Will Pisces get back together with their ex-love interest in the month of November 2019? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, let's see. Okay, feels good. Wow, okay, Six of Wands shows me that there is going to be a recognized victory here. Someone's going to be right. There's going to be some type of message, okay, something to do with something official maybe, maybe official document. Uh, it's anything written down here, any written communication. Recognize victory here. Six of Cups. Six of Cups shows me a reconciliation. Okay, so now I can say that I see the Six of Cups. There is a victory because of a message, and Six of Cups shows me a recognized victory pertaining to a healing, pertaining to a reconciliation, a fresh start, a new opportunity, and an ending of a burden here with the Ten of Wands energy, something that someone's having some burden about this. And let's get one more card here. Wow, the world card. Very good card. There's going to be a completion of a cycle. And what happens with the world? It's something that ends to start something new, but in a positive way, you're graduating from one level to the next. So why is the, the Ten of Wands here? Because someone's burdened by the fact that they want to complete a cycle here. They want to go from dating or being engaged to being married and so forth. But yes, there is a message coming in. Six of Wands, Six of Cups does confirm again, reconciliation, a fresh start, a new opportunity, and burdened. Burden because someone's burdened by something or they feel hurt here because they want to complete a cycle with you. So I don't know if this is your energy or their energy that's doing this, but it is uh, a reconciliation or it's definitely leaning in a reconciliation mode because Six of Cups is here, which obviously is a reconciliation card. So let's now get you some advice. Can I have some advice from my Pisces pertaining to ex love interest, please, for the month of November? Can I have some advice from my Pisces pertaining to ex love interest for the month of November? Can I have some advice from my Pisces for their ex love interest pertaining to November? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What did I say? <laughs> marriage and wedding is involved in this issue. So this situation is involving marriage and romantic feelings. And it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, so if you guys aren't already in a committed relationship, obviously, uh, this is saying that th go for it. Th there's definitely a, a potential for a long-term commitment here. And because there's romantic feelings, which are real and worth exploring. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, Pisces. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And if this doesn't resonate with you or you want me to draw upon your own personal energies, please go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check it out the description box below. I will be releasing the weekly soon, so stay tuned for that and a couple of other surprise videos that I have coming up for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Have a great month.